Beloved of God, it's Monday, November the 7th, the beginning of a new work week, and an opportunity for us to come before the Lord in prayer. I'm Father Michael, along with the rest of the team. Welcome to the God Minute. Let us begin as we do all things in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my my mouth mouth shall declare your praise. Exodus 15, Hymn of Victory After Crossing the Red Sea I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. He is my God, I praise Him. The God of my Father, I extol Him. Pharaoh's chariots and army you hurled into the sea. At a breath of your anger, the waters piled up. The flowing waters stood like a mound, The floodwaters congealed in the midst of the sea. Who is like to you among the gods, O Lord? Who is like to you, magnificent in holiness? In your mercy, you led the people you redeemed. In your strength, you guided them to your holy dwelling. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 17, verses 5 to 6. The apostles said to the Lord, Increase our faith. The Lord replied, If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you would say to this mulberry tree, Be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. The Word of the Lord. Lord, increase our faith. What prompted the apostles to ask this of Christ? In Luke's Gospel, the apostles petitioned Christ to increase their faith following a series of teachings that can be classified as, well, pretty difficult. The apostles have just heard Christ's teaching about facing temptation, the need for repentance from sin, the command to care for the poor, and to offer all that we have and are to God. Christ also spoke on forgiving our enemies and being merciful to those who persecute us. And above all, he taught us that we must accept and carry our crosses to follow him. The apostles respond to all these difficult yet true teachings. Lord, increase our faith. Why do you think that is? They ask God to strengthen their faith so they can rightly live those teachings and follow Christ by accepting the difficulties or crosses of this life. So what can we learn from this passage today? First, the apostles teach us that faith is a gift from God. It is a gift that will increase and grow if we nourish it. The Catechism teaches us that for our faith to grow, we must follow the Apostles' example and, quote, beg the Lord to increase our faith, end quote. Do we pray for faith in times of difficulty, or do we only pray for the difficulties to end? I know that when I find myself in difficult circumstances, my first reaction usually is to pray to God, asking not for the gift of faith, but for him to make the difficulties disappear. 
I think of a time when I had a big project to do at school that I let wait until the last minute. I started praying for God to do anything in his power so that I would not have to endure the consequences of my procrastination. But in my prayer, I realized that God doesn't just deliver us from difficulties, but rather he will give us the strength to overcome them. I realized that even though it would be difficult, I still had time to put in the work to avoid failing the project. I realized that God was telling me that all I needed to do was to ask for the strength to overcome the difficulty instead of asking him to remove it from my path. In today's passage, we learn that we must ask God to increase our faith so that we can not only do great things for him, but also accept the difficulties of our lives. So today, reflect on what situations you need to ask God to increase your faith so that you may accept and work through the difficult circumstances in your life with courage, love, and hope. God may not remove the obstacle, but he will always strengthen you with the faith you need to overcome it and to accomplish great things in his name. Let the name of Jesus be praised both now and forever. Amen. For an increase of faith, hope, and charity. We place all of our petitions before the Lord and ask for him to strengthen us so that we may continue to do his will as we pray. Our Father, who Who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy thy name. name. Thy Thy kingdom come, thy thy will will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily daily bread, and and forgive us our our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. God, you are our hope and our salvation. You know what we need, even before we ask. We place our petitions, our weaknesses, our struggles before you. And ask as the apostles did, increase our faith so that we may continue to do your will and serve you and our brothers and sisters through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. beloved of God. Thank you so much for joining us in prayer today. Do take good care of yourself and one another, and we'll see you tomorrow.